Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to estimate the value of expressions that contain irrational numbers. If you'll recall, an irrational number is a number whose decimal expansion continues forever without repeating. Included are numbers such as pi and the square root and cube root of non-perfect squares and cubes. For example, what is the value of 2 pi? We can use the calculator to find the answer. 2 times pi is equal to the following decimal. Let's estimate by truncating the value to two decimal places. 2 pi is approximately 6 and 28 hundredths. Use your calculator to estimate the following expressions. Truncate the decimal expansion of each number to two decimal places. Okay, let's do some calculations. 4 times the square root of 90 truncated to two decimal places is approximately 37 and 94 hundredths. Pi squared truncated to two decimal places is approximately 9 and 86 hundredths. And 8 plus the square root of 5 truncated to two decimal places is approximately 10 and 23 hundredths. We can show these values on a number line. For example, let's take a look at 2 pi again, which we found to be approximately 6 and 28 hundredths. To best show it, we will enlarge the area between 6 and 7. Since 2 pi is 6.28, and we know the value will fall somewhere between 6.2 and 6.3, we can now enlarge this area of the number line, dividing it into 10 sections. We see that 6.28 is precisely here on the number line. Could we continue to find a more precise approximation? Sure. A look back at our calculator shows the next digit to be a 3. So, let's enlarge the area between 2.8 and 2.9. Dividing this number line into 10 sections, we see 6.283 to be right here. We can continue this process literally forever until we've come up with a location that we are satisfied with. Estimate the following expression to three decimal places and locate it using a number line. The cube root of 118 divided by 2 truncated to three decimal places is 2.452. Since the number is larger than 2, but less than 3, we will enlarge the area between 2 and 3. Next, we enlarge the area between 2.4 and 2.5. Lastly, we enlarge the area between 2.45 and 2.46 to see that our approximation lies right here. Good job! Thank you.